I'm Graham Johnson from the Port of Tacoma. Here's what's happening on Pierce County's working waterfront. Hello from Foss Waterway Seaport. People came here in August for free boat tours of the Port of Tacoma. On Sunday, August 18th, people chose from six one-hour trips aboard an Argosy tour boat. The tours brought people from the Foss Waterway, past the Sitcom Waterway, and into the Blair Waterway, where the largest cargo ships call at terminals managed by the Northwest Seaport Alliance. Visitors learned how the Port of Tacoma supports the region's economy while protecting the environment. Being on a boat, being near water like PNW, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I'm there. There's no better way of getting to see how large the vessels are than actually going and trying to put a park up next to one. Watching those huge containers being lifted was just an amazing thing to see. Back on land, people visited an information booth, stepped inside a container to learn about international trade, and even created giant bubbles. Port boat tours happen every August with free tickets available in early July. This year, they went within hours. Subscribers to our email newsletter, Peerside, are the first to find out when tickets become available. To sign up, visit portoftacoma.com. The port's next big community event is Touch a Truck. It is family friendly. Kids can see up close the big equipment that works at the port. The free event happens Saturday, September 28th, outside the Port of Tacoma Administration Building. Just down the Foss Waterway from here, beyond the 11th Street Bridge, is where the port is building a new maritime center. New animation takes you inside the 60,000 square foot building where employees of the Port of Tacoma and the Northwest Seaport Alliance will work and where commissioners will hold public meetings. Right next door, Tacoma Public Schools Maritime 253 Skills Center will provide career and technical education to students from across Pierce County free of charge. The motion passes. In August, Port Commissioners approved a cleanup plan for the property, which was once home to the Wheeler Osgood Company door mill. Remediation work follows months of intensive soil sampling. A lot of industrial uses of this property over the years, so there are, um, there's leftover legacy contamination that, that we need to address. After the site is cleaned up, construction will begin. The port regularly cleans up contaminated properties and puts them back into productive use. To find out how it works, check out our new Port 101 video at portoftacoma.com. New numbers show the cargo business is booming for the Northwest Seaport Alliance. In July, containers passing through the ports of Tacoma and Seattle were up 12.7% over 2023. Auto imports are up 7% year to date. Logistics management is honoring the Northwest Seaport Alliance as the top performing port on the West Coast. The Quest for Quality Awards recognizes the NWSA for delivering exceptional performance. There's new progress installing shore power at Husky Terminal. This summer, crews unloaded new prefabricated buildings and placed them on the pier. The project will allow ships to reduce emissions by plugging in when they're at berth and shutting off their diesel engines. The Port of Tacoma is taking a new step to electrify the vehicle fleet. Workers in the port's maintenance department put two new F-150 Lightning pickups into service, specially outfitting them for use by the port's environmental experts. The port is helping the city of Fife connect unhoused people living near the tide flats with services. Last month, commissioners approved $300,000 over three years for Fife's Homelessness Street Outreach Program. This follows the port's $72,000 contribution last year, which helped Fife assist 309 people, 18 of whom found permanent housing. Port commissioners meet each month at the Fabulich Center off Port of Tacoma Road. The meetings start at noon and public comment is welcome. In August, commissioners Kristen Eng and John McCarthy met with community members at Delano's Coffee Roasters in Sumner. People got updates about what's happening at the port and took a tour of the roasting facility. In August, commissioners honored Bruce Kendall, who is retiring as president and CEO of the Economic Development Board of Tacoma Pierce County after 25 years. 
Finally this month, country music and cowboys. The port sponsored the August 22nd Concert in the Park in Puyallup, featuring the young country group Darren Jones and Last Men Standing. Before the free concert in Pioneer Park, people gathered for the Puyallup Main Street Association Cowboy Crawl right through downtown. Thanks for joining us from the Foss Waterway Seaport. A new edition of Working Waterfront is coming in October.